Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about the Web Start button. I'm going to be using Mac OS X Mavericks and MAMP 3.05. The uh, first thing about the Web Start button in order for you to be able to click on it is you need to have your uh, Apache and MySQL uh, servers running. So. Go ahead and start your servers, and once you do, you can click on the Web Start button. And when you do, um, it's the Web Start button is going to have some general information about your setup and uh, help you uh, with some information about your PHP or your MySQL if you need it. Uh, I'm quickly going to go over the. I'll start here on the on the top tab now. Of course, this is a website and it can always change and it probably will change uh, in the future. So I'm gonna go over uh, the uh, main features that'll probably always be, uh, be in it. Um, so you have your links up here to the MAPRO website, uh, some links to some frequently asked questions that might help you. Um, up here at the top, there's uh, some tools and uh, in the tools menu, you can get to your PHP My Admin or your PHP uh, Lite Admin. These are two web-based uh, database administrative tools. I'm going to go over the PHP My Admin. That's the most popular. That's what uh, most users use. So if you go ahead and click on this, um, you're just you're going to get this is a a local install of PHP My Admin, a web-based uh, database administration tool, and um, it's going to give you some basic. Well, it's an administration tool, so you can administer your database via the uh, PHP My Admin. So when you go onto your Web Start button, you have access to this uh, to this uh, database administrator. Um, over here in the uh, PHP info, if you click on this, this is going to give you some information about the installed version of PHP, uh, information like uh, what uh, modules are included in your PHP, and uh, stuff like that. All information about your PHP. So if you need some information um, about your PHP, you can go ahead and click on that. Sometimes there's a little confusion on exactly what the uh, web start button is and uh, uh, in this section I just want to uh, go over uh, where the files are located what it is and uh, so it's not just this magic web start button you press to get information um, when you uh, click on uh, web start you'll notice um, you see localhost uh, in the port number slash map um, now that may confuse you if you if you know uh, that your local host has a uh, uh, a document root of um, say this this document root of my local host is applications mam ht docs well I don't see a slash map folder in here and uh, some people get confused where where is this stuff that I'm looking at um, so I'm going to go over that now. Um, if you go to your MAMP and uh, look in your http.conf uh, template file, um, you'll notice um, there is an alias in here. And here's the alias slash MAMP. Slash MAMP is going to point you to uh, Library Application Support Absolute MAMP Pro MAMP. So I'm going to go to that folder now and in application and library application support absolute map pro map this these are the files that uh, are there's an index.php in here this is your web start button so that's where all this information uh, is and uh, that's just uh, to uh, go over where the information is so it isn't just this magic button you press and you don't know where this stuff's coming from and uh, here also in the uh, same directory is a PHP my admin and uh, I think there is a uh, 
an alias to that as well somewhere in here. There's several. Yeah, here's PHP light admin and PHP light admin somewhere here. So there's several aliases inside the um, httpd.conf template button. So that's just a little about uh, where this information is uh, stored on your uh, web start button. A few uh, last things on the uh, web start button. Um, if you scroll down, you're going to have the same links here as of now. Um, so your PHP unfound, PHP my admin, some information, more information about your MySQL, uh, user password, and uh, and location of your uh, your socket file. So just it's some basic information there. Um, and one last thing I wanted to point out, um, here is your uh, link to the PHP My Admin uh, database administrative tool. Um, it's perfectly capable. I've noticed most people just use that. We do have some native options. Um, go to the uh, MySQL tab. Um, we do have SQL Pro as well. That's a great uh, tool to uh, administer your database with. And uh, as of now, in 3.05, we do have MySQL Workbench, but I think in the future that is going to be an optional download. So those are just two other tools you can use. You don't have to use PHP MyAdmin to do all your database administration. And that's going to do it for this uh, screencast on the Web Start button.